Hi everybody, it's Hannah, College Principal here. I hope you're doing well after your first or second week of study, depending on what course you're on. I thought I would do a bit of a recap video of some of the most important information you need to know for a successful semester. I'm aware you've had a lot of stuff thrown at you over the last few weeks, so hopefully this serves as a useful reminder for some of that stuff. So I'm gonna try and one take it, I've got about 10 things to get through. First of all, I wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for being so diligent, for following all of our safety guidelines. We do have a student charter which sets out the expectations so if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go to the Important Updates channel on the Bin Bristol College News and Chat page. You can find that on there and download it. So next up, I would just want to make sure you're aware of BIMstudents.com. It is the information hub. It's where we link everything. So I know there are a lot of different systems to get used to. You'll find them all here. So please do bookmark it on your phone and computer. So just go to BIMstudents.com. You select Bristol, which is in the middle there, and then you'll find links to your timetable, to room booking and resource booking, which we'll talk about in a moment, masterclasses and events and guests and careers stuff, tutorial booking, uh, what else is there? Student services, the Student Association, BIM Connect, um, Pirate Studios, our COVID-19 red button, which I will talk to you about in a moment, links to all of your apps, so Office 365, you can download in that pink button there, virtual library, very important, um, and also lots of really useful how-to guides. So our digital team have put these together. They are student-facing guides for things like Zoom and Teams and some of the systems that we use, um, and we'll keep adding to this as well. So it's a really good reference point to go to. Also make sure you know your people. So it's great having guides and things, but sometimes you just need to talk to a person, so it's important to know the right people to go to depending on what course you're on. So your course leader and deputy course leader, if there is one, are really important people to get to know, plus your student support officer. If you don't know who they are yet, you can find them on your course year homepage on Moodle. You can also contact them by your course year Microsoft Teams um, on MS Teams. Okay, so what's next? What have we got? COVID reporting. Right, it's really important that we are aware if you have any symptoms of coronavirus or if you've been in contact with anyone with symptoms of coronavirus or a confirmed case. So we just need to know as much information as possible. If you go to bimstudents.com, you will see um, there is a red button here, COVID-19 exposure service and a little COVID response form. It takes like a minute to fill out. Make sure you give us your correct phone number and let us know your COVID status and we will call you back and get as much information as possible and make sure you're supported. So talking of support, our student support team are available for drop-in, so face-to-face -face in a safe environment at Passer Street every weekday from 9.30 to 11.30. You just need to go to reception at Passer Street to let them know that you would like to see somebody. You can also email them at studentsupportbristol at bim.co.uk, book an appointment on Moodle with student services or you can phone them by calling 0117-980-7060, option 442, and um, that helps, them, helps you get through to them quicker. And they are here between 9 and 5.30, Monday to Friday. They're all awesome, they're all amazing, really helpful. No problem is too big or too small, so please do make use um, of those services. Okay, tech support. So if you've got issues with Zoom, trouble finding a link or it's not loading, any problems with your hardware or software, email tech support Bristol at pim.co.uk and there is always someone on duty from 9 to 5.30 to help with any of those issues. You can also post in the IT and facilities channel on Microsoft Teams as well and each morning a member of the facilities team will let you know who is on standby to help out. If you're having any issues with logging in, um, try resetting your password on bimstudents.com and then email it support Bristol at bim.co.uk. Okay, how are we getting on? Four minutes. Okay, cool. So next up, learning on Zoom. Now, overall, well done. I think we've had a really successful first week. Attendance to Zoom lessons has been really good. Engagement's been really high. We've done really, really well. But I do have a few little bits of feedback from the lecturing team um, on a few things. So firstly, get dressed. It might seem obvious, but we've had a few folks in dressing gowns. And please get out of bed. You, um, you basically you just need to be professional. This is a professional environment. You wouldn't turn up to your lectures. Um, in your pyjamas so please do think about it like that um, and similarly please turn up on time so arrive early so click on the link five minutes before so you are ready to start learning at the start of your scheduled class time and don't eat food 
during the session, eat food before or after class. It's not a good look to have kind of crumbs falling out of your mouth in the middle of a lesson. And also stay put. So try and set up a work area at home if you've got the space for it. Don't walk around, no cycling, no driving. Um, not only are you not going to be focused, but it's also pretty dangerous. So please make sure that you are focused on your session. And finally, participate. Learning is not something that we do to you. Learning is something that you have to participate in. And we need to know, as teachers, if we're getting it right. So we need to observe what's happening in the room, if you are engaged, if you're doing the activities. But also, we learn from you and you learn from your peers just as much as your lecturer. Your ideas are as important as ours. So it's really important that your camera's on and that you speak up. And if you're feeling anxious about that, please don't be ashamed. It's totally normal. It's a weird situation, but do talk to us about it. Let's talk to student support your course leader or your lecture and we can help you with strategies for overcoming that because it's really important that we're all engaged okay so next up we've got microsoft teams so hopefully you've got stuck into this a little bit um you need to download the app it's a bit clunky on browser version so i'll download the app it's free for your computer and for your phone and you will be enrolled on various teams that i've got loads of them you'll have much less than i do so there is the BIM Bristol College News and Chat, where you'll find important updates from me and from the rest of the team here. Um, we've got a student support channel. Um, Anna, our student president, has her own channel as well, which is really useful to find out what, what they're up to. Important updates, um, prison industry, and also a general page where you can just speak to each other. It's not just for us talking to you, it's for you talking to us and to each other as well. You've also got a, um, a team, a channel for your course year homepage, which your course leader will use to get in touch with you, make announcements um, and also post important files or documents. And then you have one for each module. And what's quite nice about this is, well as being a place where you can chat to your classmates and to your lecturer, it also links directly through to the module Moodle page as well. So you can access all of your things, things like Zoom links from within Microsoft Teams, the app. So that's quite handy. Okay, next, homework. Right. I know homework is like this boring thing that you might have done at school or not done at school, um, but doing work in between your lessons, maybe we need to find another word for it, but it's an expectation. It's not an option. So you're doing a full-time course, at least most of you. I know a few master's students from part-time, but um, you are doing a full-time course, so it's expected that you do work in between your sessions. The activities on the VLE are part of your learning, they are not an extra, they are the bare minimum. So please make sure you're engaging with the materials on the VLE and that you're practicing, whether you're a musician or not, but you're practicing your industry and your craft, you're rehearsing, you're reading, you're exploring, connecting with each other, having discussions, booking tutorials with lecturers. It's really important that you make the most um, of all the opportunities to learn around you. So yeah, homework is something that we all need to get used to doing. Okay, resources and practice rooms. Another thing you need to make the most of are the um, resources available to you. So, Pirate Studios, we have three 24 7 um, rehearsal rooms and one 24 7 DJ room available. You can um, find a book by going on bimstudents.com and clicking on Pirate Studios. You need to create an account with them using your BIM email address. So, it works slightly differently because they're an external provider. So, you do need to create an account and set your own password with your BIM email address and you can access those resources. You also get a discount on their other rooms as well. So if there aren't any um, rooms, free rooms, but um, sorry, free rooms available, you can book discounted rooms there as well. They are over in St Phillips near the Little, really great. Um, and yeah, you can rehearse 24 seven, which is a bonus. Um, and then we have BIM room booking. So let's oh, over here. Lots of different kinds of rooms available at BIMS. So we've got rehearsal rooms, obviously, at King Square. We've got individual practice booths. We've even got like a little film studio set up in PSO1 over here at Passer Street. And each of our tutorial rooms, we've tried to make them more versatile this year because obviously um, we don't have as many lessons going on in the building, so we want you to be able to use the resources that we have. So we've set up like little, almost like little home studio setups and drum kits in every tutorial and that we can do so so please do make sure you're making the most of those resources okay um and also there is a bookable resources guide which is going out on moodle and on teams with all of the details of what's available here at bims so make sure you check that out and you book all of that stuff through bimstudents.com room booking with your siso account okay 
Um, we also have resources that you can book to borrow in rehearsals or at home. Um, so things like Ableton pushes, cameras, guitar pedals, all that kind of stuff. And we'll also soon have all of our books available. And normally we'd have a little library space open to all of you guys. But right now, things are making that a bit tougher. So what um, the team have done instead is put all of the books on size so that you'd normally be able to read on campus. And you can take them home, book them out like a proper library. So hopefully that's useful. But don't forget that most of the core texts are also available in the online library, which you can access again through bimstudents.com so lots of opportunities to do lots of lovely reading which i know that you like to do okay um and then one-to-one -one tutorials our best resource actually it's not the equipment it's not the books it's not the rooms it's the lecturers so please do book your one-to-one -one tutorials they are all available on zoom go to bimstudents.com see i told you it was important click on tutorials and you'll find links to book with all of our roster you don't have to be taught by them to have a tutorial so yeah please do check out what everybody is about and um, book in okay one left okay master classes and events so it's not just about the lessons We've got loads of other stuff going on. Our amazing events and guests industry team have put together these amazing listings for October alone. So this is just one month of stuff going on. Please don't miss out. You can book by going on bimstudents.com, clicking on events, guests and careers, and you'll find links to um, sign up to all of these events. So please do get involved. The more you get involved in, the more you learn, the more people you meet, the more opportunities you get involved with. So yeah, please do that. Right, I think I need to stop and have a cup of tea now. I hope that's useful. Um, I know lots and lots to take in. Please do just speak to us if you're struggling with anything at all. And there's always somebody here to help. Um, anyway, that's it from me. I hope you have a good second or third week. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye.